everybody welcome back to our channel so it is the end of the school year and we have had to bring all of our personal items home from school because in the summertime our custodians they go in they move all of our furniture they wax our floors they get everything nice and pretty for us to come back in august so with that being said i had to break down my coffee station at school and i do not wish to put my single serve cup coffee machine in my garage for two months I do already have a home coffee station already set up in the kitchen that I use all the time but I'm going to be setting up a single serve coffee station in my kitchen area over by the table on the little hutch that I got from the household swap and I thought I'd bring you along as I do it so these are the items that I have to deal with so I was able to grab a couple boxes from school and bring everything home i ended up taking this single serve coffee maker to school and it has been such a lifesaver um not only for me but other co-workers and i also have my mugs in here i've got extra coffee cups with tops i've got all of my coffee staples in here and i'm going to transform this side hutch with into a coffee station so if you remember um a couple months ago i went to a household swap it was a ladies clothing swap but it also had household items as well this is one of the items that i was able to get so you bring an item you get an item for each item we brought we got one ticket and we were able to put our ticket on each thing we wanted and this only cost me one ticket so i have been in love with the farmhouse style of decorating but i am not total farmhouse i did grow up on a farm so i am a farm i'm a country girl but I'm not total farmhouse. My house is a little bit, um, I don't know if shabby chic is the right word. Probably not. But I'm going to turn this little coffee station into a farmhouse single serve cup coffee station. And I just wanted to bring you along with me as I did it. everybody I have completed the standalone or individual coffee maker remember this is not a Keurig but it is a Farberware individual coffee maker I got that from Walmart and um, it does really well actually you just uh, fill the water up here takes up to 24 ounces then you'd select your coffee size and if you're doing a pod you select here but if you're doing coffee grounds you do it here and it also gives you a uh, they give you a coffee ground uh, thing for in here. So I just put a few things of water here. I brought this out of the cabinet of the coffee station uh, just because I wasn't using it at home and it was full of pods because I'd gotten a really good deal on some coupons the last Super Double. So I did add that back in. I got this galvanized bucket from Ollie's for like $6.99 I think. I've had this picture. I think I got that from the swap, the um, lady swap. And then my sister got me this mug for Christmas. And then I also had gotten this basket. I got this from Goodwill and I spray painted it. Then down at the bottom, I just left my cookbooks down here and my um, home management binder or recipe binders down there. And so I just thought that would be a great use of the space for right now since I had to bring home my coffee stuff anyway and I didn't want to let it sit in the garage for a couple of months. But the kids and I also added in a few other details. So we're just going to take you around our kitchen for a few minutes. So in this spot right here, I actually, these three pictures were not there. I do probably need to lower this one just a smidge, but I like those. I love this one the best. It says um, family recipe. Three cups of forgiveness, one gallon of friendship, a pinch of hope, and a spoonful of laughter. Um, oodles of love, mix, blend, repeat, serve everyone. 
Uh, we've had that for a very, very long time, and that's really how we live our life. Um, that one says, uh, make time to spice, and that one says, uh, spice up your life. So we just added that in between the laundry room. Just thought it would look nice there. It actually brings the kitchen in so nicely. This is probably one of my fave new pieces. This is a peel and stick. It's a chalkboard a label. They had this little thing at work where they sell stuff and I try not to go in there and buy things. However, this was cute. So it is a peel and stick. It's a to-do list and you write on it with chalk. So I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and see if they have any chalk pens and these little emoji people, I guess those are the tasks or to mark off the tasks. And so our kitchen is pretty much the same. Here is our low spin menu calendar and there's a video up on this. So our weekly menu plan, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then these are some doable meals, some meals out of all the stuff we have at home that we could actually put together um, just from the things we have so we don't have to shop for any of that. And this is my original coffee station, which I do still love. I thought about moving this sign over there, but I love it there. So I'm just going to keep that there for me. And then the last thing that I got, that peel and stick came in two pieces. So this is one of the pieces. It's a weekly planner, but it does Monday through Sunday. And so I'm just going to leave that and get a few um, chalk pens and we can put in our menu for the week. So I do like that there as well. And it just adds a little something. Not quite all the way farmhouse, but farmhouse a little bit. So there it is. Just um, thought we'd refresh a couple spaces. Do a few things. We actually put some daylight light bulbs in our laundry room and the, you know, the, it's night and day just in how it looks. So it is about nine o'clock. I still have videos to edit and I am going to get ready because we have exams tomorrow and I have to be at school pretty early. But anyway, that's what we, we were doing around the house, just doing a couple of projects and now on to the editing. So thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Just as, hey, we like your video. If you're into the farmhouse style, give us a thumbs up. If there's something in our kitchen you think might need some changing, leave us a comment below. Um, we are not spending money on buying things. I'm going to be refreshing my curtains. Pretty soon, I'm just going to take them down and wash them and uh, soak the white ones in some bleach because they do look a little dingy right now. But I haven't taken them down in probably over a year. So as soon as school's out, I've got some home projects I'm going to be doing. Um... But yeah, so the kids and I are going to, they're going to fold clothes. I'm going to edit videos. And we just want to thank you so much for stopping by our channel. Bye now.